Hello everybody, Kryptonite here and welcome back to another Foundry Guide. In the previous episode, I gave you a quick rundown and the best way to get started with your mining drones and how to set them up. Now in this episode, what we're going to do is I'm going to run through how to get rid of these furnaces and make the smelting part automated. So as you can see here, I've kind of laid out a grid of where I want my foundations. I do highly recommend just doing a little bit of smelter manually just so you can lay out your grid like so and then where each of your ore veins are you want to have a fairly big space like this and same on the other side now as we know in the crafting menu what we're going to need next as you can see in the top left hand corner here on tasks is what we need is some loaders the majority of the recipe is all to do with xenoferrite plates conveyor belts which is also the same we need xenoferrite plates and machinery parts which come from the plates and we will need some rods as well. As I explained in the previous video, a key component to foundry is these here, these building blocks, plates and tech and rods as explained in the previous video. So we want to try and get a couple of smelters built to get this automated as soon as possible so we can finish off our foundation because as you can imagine this will take a while doing it manually. So what you want to do is you want to have a big enough foundation like this, this should be plenty big enough and then what we want is we want to craft a couple of loaders. So what we're going to need is four loaders for this side and four for the other side. We need one as an output and then one as an input into the smelter. So what you can do is if you craft both your smelters to start with so we'll craft two of those, then you can place them down and work out where you want them to think. Now the good thing about this game as well is when you're crafting things, you can craft multiple things in once and they'll do a queue. So we want five of these and then we just want to craft all of our conveyor belts for now. So now we have everything pretty much crafted. I'm just going to pop these in my hotbar for tutorial purposes just because it makes it a bit easier to explain what I'm doing. Now as you can see we have got loads of conveyor belts. Everything does predominantly take more place than it does rods. As you can see here I've got quite a few rods stacked up. So first of all let's put our smelter in place. So as you can see here you want the panel to be accessible. The panel is where you select the recipe that you want to do. So I'm just going to pop my smelter there for now. And what we're going to do is we are going to get to our loaders. Now as you can see it says building and belt. We're just going to do a simple like this on the smelter and other machines as well. It doesn't matter what loading base you use, they can all be used. And what you do is you can distribute here with your loaders. If you just toggle like this, as you can see, it says intake and outtake. Now from the miner, we want this set as an outtake. So we would do that and then we'll place our conveyor belts down. Now, as you can see, they are directional. So you just want to put one underneath and you can drag them across like so. And as you can see, they are loading and straight in the smelter. Now the smelter's not doing anything yet because we need to configure it. So if we head over to our smelter here, we can see right here, we can configure the smelter to do plates and technum rods. Now we are at the, the technum ore vein, so we want to select the rods. And as you can see here, it is automatically smelting into rods for us. Now the smelters have a storage capacity of 200, so we will just leave that be and we'll go and set up the other side. Now if you want to speed up the process of making the foundations then what we can do is go one step further and we can build this right here which is an assembler. So I'm going to show you how to set that up so we can get that to basically assemble our plates and our rods into our building blocks here. So I've made a little sort of foundation here in the middle because you don't really want it to one side because obviously it takes both of these resources here. So we'll craft one of these straight away and all it takes is a few plates and machinery parts and a few rods to make the electrical components. So we'll just get one of them crafted. Now we have our assembler crafted. We will pop this just here, smack bang in the middle. And the same as the smelters, we just want one loader this side and we want one loader this side. And then we just want to run our conveyor belts from our smelter over here. So we'll pop our loader just here and we'll get our conveyor belt. Now you want to make sure the conveyor belt is facing in the right direction. Pop that to here. Now you can turn corners with conveyor belts, but what you want to do is when you're changing direction, you want to start with that direction at the end and it will make a corner. 
and there we go and as you can see it has converted itself into a corner there but what we need to do is not forget to change this to output once you change it to output as you can see our plates are coming out of the smelter and it's following the conveyor belt down to here now I want to do the same on the other side so I want to just head over here to this smelter grab our loader out and want to pop that there change that to output and we just want our conveyor belts to go this way now so we'll pop them here put our conveyor belt all the way down to here and it is as simple as that we now have our rods coming in and our plates coming in now we want to configure the assembler now as you can see here we can assemble an array of things at the moment once we build the research lab which i said before we will cover that in the next video but at the moment as you can see we can assemble an array of different parts so what we're going to do is we're going to select the building blocks and as you can see here we are now building our building blocks straight into here now like everything else the assembler has a limited amount of storage so what we could do is we could extend our foundations here but as you can see here i've extended the foundation just a tiny bit and what we can do because this assembler only has limited storage what we can do is we can craft a logistics container now there is a crate here which is just for you to basically manually put items in there and store it but a logistic container we can put conveyor belts and loaders onto it so it will automatically distribute now these have quite a big amount of storage so we'll get one of them crafted and we have that crafted here we're just going to pop this over here like so we're going to craft a couple more loaders we've got plenty of conveyor belts at our disposal so that's not too much of an issue we'll wait for these loaders to craft and there's a second one now you're probably thinking that these loaders are a bit too close together and they won't work but they will so you can build things relatively close so we'll just pop a conveyor belt here I want to change this one here to an output like that and then as you can see here on the screen of the container they're all distributing into here now if we open up the container as you can see we have here eight slots now each slot will hold 200 of the resource so we can overall store a thousand of this resource and there we go everyone we have basically an unlimited supply of foundation so we can get all of this built in no time at all so there we go everyone we have run through how to automate our smelting for our rods and our plates and then connect them to an assembler to supply us with our building blocks so now the crafting of our foundations is fully automated and we can just sit back and wait for them to collect in our storage over there so hopefully you liked this video and found it helpful if you did make sure you smash that like button if you have any questions or anything like that at all make sure you drop a comment down below and i'll gladly help you as best i can don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content thank you all for watching and see you in the next one